Start this lesson by saying, Call the law Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakakadah. Double honors to elect out here preaching this word in truth and sincerity. This is uh, Jesse back with another Bible lesson. Uh, we're going to go into um, all these storms, all these uh, wars that's going on in the world, all this um, killing uh, craziness that's going on in the world. We're going to uh, go through a couple Bible scriptures, uh, basically proving that we're at the end of days. But before we go into this lesson, Yahweh is who you ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shai is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. <coughs> the Rakagadash is the Holy Spirit, and Bahashim means in the name. So when you call on your Lord and Savior for forgiveness of sins, you call on the name of Yahweh Shai. No longer calling on that pagan ass name of Jesus Christ because the letter J was invented in 1520. Four. So there's no way your Lord and Savior name could have been Jesus. It is Yahweh Shai in ancient Paleo-Hebrew language. He's a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You're the Israelites of the Bible. You so-called white people, starting with the elite banking families, Rothschild, Rockefellers, Oppenheimers, DuPonts, Gettys. You are the devil that the Bible speaks of. Pursuant to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. But that's a lesson for another day. Now we're going to go into all these storms and stuff that's going on out here. And um, all these evil times. Um, evil means a uh, bad time that's going on. And we're going to start with Jeremiah chapter 30, verses 24. The fierce anger of the Lord Yahweh shall not return until he have done it, until he have performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider. In the latter days, mean the end days, you're going to consider it. You see all these tornadoes, hurricanes. Well, there's man made. By um, heart machines, by um, Esau, e Edom, the uh, so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, the Malik banking families. Because, you know, they got patents on all types of weapons out here. So whether it's them doing it or whether um, it's uh, Yahweh doing it, um, Yahweh's actually making them do it. So it's, it's the Lord that's bringing all these storms, all these wars, and all the stuff that's happening. Check it out. We're going to go to Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and with great noise and with storm and tempest. That's what's going on right now. And with the flame up and with the devouring flame. Now, they got, um, the, I believe the whole state, uh, I can't remember uh, which state is on fire, whether it's like Wisconsin or something like that. And all the um, fires out in California. Um, you can actually pull it up. It's like a um, Bible. It's an app that'll show you like all the fires that's going on throughout Babylon, the great United States of America, and throughout the world. Even um, Amazon is on fire right now. And we got the great noises. Uh, people hearing noises from the sky. Storms and tempests. That's what we got going on. Uh, there's an earthquake app that shows you how many earthquakes we have uh, daily. On the earth, you'd be surprised. We are like hundreds of earthquakes a day, and they're actually increasing. And that's how the Lord visits the earth. That's um, the Lord bringing punishment down on the wicked. So when um, all these strong tornadoes and hurricanes come through, it is not like it is punishment from the Lord. These people are not keeping the Lord's commandments. They're out here doing evil and wicked works, and this is um, this is the Lord punishing them. Because the Lord ain't going to come off his throne and come down here and thrust a sword through your ass. He's going to send great noise, tempest, storms, and all that. I would uh, look up the Bible verse, but as soon as I try to look it up, the whole screen going to go blank. I don't know why my screen saver does that. But um, the Spirit jumped on me to jump to another uh, preset, but I can't even pull it up because of this Bible app. The whole screen will go black if I go searching, so that's why I have to put it on this screen. But uh, anyway... The book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verses 16. Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercessions to me, for I will not hear thee. The Lord said, don't pray for these people. If you're not out here rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning trying to keep his commandments to the best of your abilities, and out here repenting in the name of Yahweh Shah, rehearsing the righteous acts, keeping the Lord's commandments. If you're not out here, if they're not out there doing that, then the Lord said, do not pray for those people. So we're not to pray for those people that's going through this. This is judgment from the Lord. And we're not going to battle against the Lord just because you're on TV crying because your house got fucking blown away. Yeah, I should have been keeping the fucking commandments like the Lord says in his Bible. 
But y'all want to go to church and let the church people tell you that you don't have to keep the commandments no more so you can go around and have pleasure in your sin. And when the Lord sends a big ass tornado down here and destroys your fucking house, now you want to get on TV and cry. Book of Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 16. Therefore pray not for this people. Neither lift up cry nor prayer for them. Neither make intercessions to me. So the Lord said don't come and pray and hope that these people, the, uh, the tornado stop and these people. No, nah, the Lord, because the Lord is the one that's doing this. I create evil. Evil means bad times. That's what the Lord says. I, and the Lord said, I'm not going to hear that shit. I don't want to hear your fucking abomination. I don't want to hear the prayers because I'm the one that's sending these tornadoes. Uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. That's over in Israel, Gaza, uh, Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, and the countless other wars that's about to pop off. Hezbollah. And all them other motherfuckers over there, and Palestinians fighting and shit, famines, shortages of food. You got the um the dock workers striking, so the shortage of food is coming. It was already here. The pantries are already the um food pantries are damn near empty. You can go ahead and research that. So, and famines mean shortage of food. So it's gonna be shortage of food in certain spots, not like everywhere, but in certain spots, it's gonna be shortage of food. And this is punishment from the Lord. And pestilence, COVID-19, and all these bird flu, blur swines, whether the, whether these white people making them or whether the Lord sending them. It is the Lord that's doing this. Earthquakes in, in diverse places. We got an earthquake right here in Annapolis, Maryland. When does that ever fucking happen? Deuteronomy, uh, we're going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verses 29. For I know that after... My death, you will utterly corrupt yourselves. I believe this is Moses talking to the Israelites, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. And to turn aside from which the way I've commanded you, and evil will befall you in the latter days. Evil means bad times will befall you in the latter days and the end times. Because you will do evil in the sight of the Lord. Look how the so-called Black Hispanics and Native American Indians people are acting nowadays. Are any of them out there rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord trying to keep his commandments? No, they are doing evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger through the works of your hands. Y'all out here sinning and sinning and sinning. And your sinners are building up to heaven and the Lord sending these deaf angels, tornadoes, whatever, to take your ass out. We already got that. The book of Amos chapter 5 verses 18. Woe means destruction. Destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? For the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. The Lord is bringing darkness. He's bringing death and destruction. And for all you people that's out here saying, I can't wait till the Lord come back. If you ain't keeping the Lord's commandments, he's going to bring your ass death and destruction. So woe unto you, destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord. If you're not out here keeping his commandments, because that's your death sentence. To what end is it for you? If you're not keeping the commandments, what end is it for you? Your ass going to die. I think that's all I got. Yeah, I think that's all I got. I can't even, um, I got a few more on my head, but I can't even jump over to them because if I do, then this whole Bible app will go crazy. Let's see if I got anything else in my notes because I got one minute. Well, let's just go ahead and end it. Um, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you are the Israelites of the Bible, so it's time for you to repent. Pursuant to Judges 5 and 11, rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning keep his commandments to the best of your abilities. And when you do sin, because you're not going to be perfect, only perfect person is Yahweh Shah. So when you do sin, you call on the name of Yahweh Shah for forgiveness of sins. Don't call on that pagan ass name of Jesus. Letter J was invented in 1524. His name is Yahweh Shah in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. So you repent in the name of Yahweh Shah and you try not to sin no more. We are rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning we're trying to keep the commandments. He just wants to see you try. If you're an able-bodied man, you're supposed to be teaching his word and truth and sincerity according to the doctrine of GMS. This is Jesse out with another Bible lessons. This is for the elect of the nation of Israel. We got next.